Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the iPortal plugin with your Bungie Cord network. This plugin allows you to create custom portals that teleport you to any location you want. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to use it on your Bungie Cord network. If you're not running Bungie Cord, we have a separate tutorial on how to use this plugin if you're only using multiple worlds on one server. Please check the link in the description. What I have here is my Bungie Cord proxy server, my survival server, and then my faction server. Please ensure that you install this plugin only on the game servers that you want this plugin to run on. Do not install it onto the proxy server. To install iPortal, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in iPortal. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart it. Now do this with all the servers that you want the plugin to run on. Once you're in game, you can use the slash iPortal help command to get a list of commands that are available. To create a portal that will teleport you to another server, you'd need to get a wand. Type in a slash iPortal wand to get one. With this wand, select the one corner of the portal and then select the other opposite corner. Then type in a slash iPortal create, then the portal name and then what type of portal you want it to be. In this case, we want it to be a bungee portal, so type in bungee. Now it's created, we need to set what server we want to teleport to. Type in slash iPortal set to, then the portal name and then the server name. You can find a server name in your Bungie Cord server config or just type in slash server and it'll show you a list of servers that are available. I'm currently on the survival server so I'll be going over to the faction one. So I'll type factions. And as you can see once I walk through it works perfectly and now I'm on the faction server. Now of course you can also make custom shaped portals too. Let's create one in this server. Again select the opposite corners of where you want the portal to be doesn't matter if it goes outside a little bit. Just like before, use the same command to create and set the teleport location of the portal. Once that's done, just break the parts you don't need and then you're good to go. As you can see, it works perfectly and it teleports us between two servers. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.